Well, there was an incident recently that, I mean, it really just shook the hockey world. Uh, Twitter, I know Spit and Chicklets has addressed it. And, I mean, there are people, it's one of those subjects, like, there's people on one side and there's people on another side. And I'm talking about the Trevor Zegers, Jay Beagle, Troy Terry altercation. So, I think that starting off, I mean, broadcast TV, guys. I mean, ugh. I feel like in the US, the system is kind of broken. Now, as a Penguins fan, I really love listening to Bob Airy and Steve Mears. I mean, I do. And I understand that what I'm about to say is kind of going to contradict that a little bit because they're obviously homers. I know Harry obviously is, um, but I don't know if it really uh, enhances the whole experience entirely when you have such biased commentary. I, I just, because yes, I mean, it is going to, they're gonna be the same things that normally a fan will kind of think most of the time. I mean, unless it's like Jack Edwards or somebody that's just, you know, going off the rocker, but you have just one opinion and you don't have the other side. So when we witnessed this whole incident taking place, we had the Arizona uh, Coyotes commentator just ripping the Ducks, like the Anaheim Ducks, the, uh, the, the young stars, you know, basically they need to get their faces beat in because, you know, they're, they're skill guys and, you know, they're out there, you know, embarrassing the Arizona Coyotes. And I do think that this was interesting because it, it really was kind of a clash. I think between the young skill and kind of the older, um, you know, old school, like, I guess a little bit more of like a respectable type of game. So in that regard, and, and it was just a real big clash in that way. I mean, you have Jay Beagle on one side, which I mean, as a Penguins fan, I do remember the whole Aaron Asham, like night, night fight. So I, know, <laughs> I just have that like echoing in my head when I, you know, hear Jay Beagle fight. Like that's just automatically where I go as a Penguins fan. The whole thing really started when Trevor Zegers went in and he just kind of, you know, whacked up the goalie a little bit in the crease. And I mean, the game was already, you know, five to nothing. So um, you know that the Arizona Coyotes are frustrated at that point. And as a player, as a young player, I mean, who knows? Maybe Zegers just wasn't really thinking. But even still, I mean, I've seen the guy it, it just selly. I mean, the way he sellies and like, it is good for the game, but at the same time, I mean, he comes off as pretty cocky. He really does. Like, there's no denying that part. And so when you have that and you have these sellies, I mean, I've watched this one clip, shoot, it was against the Rangers and he literally like shot the puck after the whistle and it made me laugh. Like I'm, it's a Rangers Ducks game. Like I'm just like spectator here, but it made me laugh because like, <laughs> just shot it in the net and then goes over and sellies and I'm just like dude what are you doing like he shot the puck after the whistle and it was so obvious and so the whole team from the Rangers he just jumped Zegers because like he's doing this and he's asking for it so I kind of went back to that mentally when I heard this whole thing like um I obviously watched it but I listened to um, the guys in Spit and Chick let's kind of talk about it and so my mind went back to that and I'm just like, oh, Zegers, you did it again. So uh, this time, however, like it really wasn't all like on Zegers as far as like the um, the retaliation. So he got a little cross check. He didn't get much, but in front of the net. But the real altercation came whenever Jay Beagle just really went after Troy Terry and Beagle was the one who gave Zegers a cross check. So Troy Terry, just being a good teammate, tries to come in and, and defend Zegers. And, uh, well, I mean, he's obviously a skill guy. He's no match for, for Jay Beagle. I mean, obviously I said like Aaron Ashton fight going back to that, but still Troy Terry is, if you look at him, he's just, he's not a fighter. He's just not. So he goes after Troy Terry and he just pounds his face in. I mean, if you've seen pictures of this, like it is insane, like poor guy. After that all happened, then you have Trevor Zegers going in an interview. And I think it might be like an age thing, like maybe in like a maturity thing, like where you're just you're mad, right, about, about the situation so much that you're just kind of going to want to maybe make it a little bit more of a beef, like just make it even worse. Like, why not? Like, just infuriate people even more because, you know, you're mad, so let's make everyone else mad. Let's just do it, right? I mean, I was, I was a teenager in my early 20s. Like, I remember, like, how I used to think, like, you kind of would think like that more. 
So he goes on an interview and like looking like, you know, around like he's going to get beat or something, you know, like, like Troy Terry anyway, Beagle's hiding around the corner or something, but um, he's given an interview and he's like, you know, saying he was angry about how Troy Terry was, was beaten, you know, basically after um, he was down by Beagle, which, I mean, if that were the case, that wouldn't be okay at all, in my opinion. That's just not, like, it's not something you do. You don't pull him out Dumba and just, you know, go ridiculous on Lucas Raymond, like, without a helmet. Um, it's just not something you do. So he was saying that, I mean, he thought it was classless. And so, I mean, that even infuriated uh, people even more. You saw Timo Solani taking a stand about um, how, you know, he thought that they were just getting, you know, mucked around. It goes back to kind of, this is how I think about it. Um, it's kind of comparable a little bit to, I mean, obviously not the same thing, but a little comparable to how we witnessed the New York Rangers getting, you know, tossed around last year. They were getting, they just didn't have anyone really to, to stand up for their star guys and their guys whenever um, they were kind of getting picked on. So we kind of witnessed that. I mean, after Brendan Lemieux went to LA, um, that's when the whole Tom Wilson Panarin thing happened. So in a way, like I said, not the same situation, but it's kind of comparable. Uh, you have, you know, Delorier getting traded to the wild and I mean, you don't really have anybody so to really uh, fill that role. So I think that the whole thing, I mean, like I said, it just goes back to kind of showing that we aren't really completely to the, you know, 100%, you know, skill game where there's not that old school mentality still there because I think there is. But um, it's just kind of in a transition right now. So going back to that, one of those one of those key pieces, especially in Anaheim, uh, Ryan Getzlaff. That's that's he's, he's really more of an old school guy. So he's he's retiring, and and now you have you know totally a new school wave with Zegers. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think that whenever these you know current um, situations and events are, are just really fun to talk about, and you enjoyed it, and if you did, just you know, leave me a comment below and just let me know. Um, give me some feedback and uh, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, let's go Pens.